Hey everyone, Asha here from Pandemonium. We are here at the Tohono Chul Gardens located in Oro Valley near Tucson, Arizona. We're gonna grab some lunch at the bistro first before we head into the gardens. Look at these awesome doors that they have. These are huge. Oh, they have a small one built into that one there. <laughs> the small door. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. They seem a little uh, <laughs> flustered. I'm gonna go to that gift shop. Patio Potpourri. <laughs> I guess this is their gift shop. Okay. Wow, $150. Okay. Oh, I see. There's more here also. Oh, well, that's pretty. Oh, they do have a museum shop. Oops. Oh, pretty. Some of these are really bright and beautiful. Spices. Jellies and jams. Vanilla. Oh, wow, it goes further back. Jewelry. Hmm. Oh, look at that bottle holder. It's a rattlesnake. Hmm. Just some kitschy stuff. Some collectibles. Some kids stuff. Oh. My oh my, a butterfly. <laughs> Oh, they're really into snakes here. Psst. I guess it's time. Hey. All right, here's their menu. Brunch. 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 Brunch and more brunch. Jason got the two eggs, and <laughs> Jennifer got the dos. Same, you got the same thing I did, right? Dos ranchos? Did you uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, it is? It's got the vegan sausage, though. Oh, okay, the vegan sausage. And then Jeff got, what did you get? Quesadilla. The quesadilla? Oh, yeah, Chicken with the uh, um, potatoes. And here's my dos ranchos with bacon. That looks so good. Yum, yum. Time to dig in. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, look at that. So any of the greens actually comes from the gardens here. I'm not trying to shame you, but what a small plate you have there, sir. Whatever. <laughs> it's not the size, it's what's on it. <laughs> okay, so we've gotten in with our pass from the Boyce Thompson Arboretum. This is a smaller garden, so definitely not as well established as the other ones. There's that flower that I was seeing on the roadside. I think this is a penstemon right here. Isn't that beautiful? Just grows on the roadside. Wild. The typical Sorora, Palo Verde, and creosote bush in bloom. Oh, oops. Well. <laughs> Gotta go back the other way. <laughs> the bee goes buzz. This one's nice, but it's definitely not as nice as the... Well, the... well it's pretty hard to compete with the other one. Yeah, it is kind of hard to compete with the other one. I forget how many acres they said it is. Huh. More of the brittle bush. This one's pretty large. We just started from family. Oh, family. Oh. That's the fairy duster. We've seen this on a hike before. We're here in the palm garden. Some of these palms are huge. Look at that. It's like an oasis here. Desert palm. Oh, wow. Look how big those are over there. So here's some information about the desert palm if you want to pause and read. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Oh, look at this area here.
Oh, look at the little stream. That's cute. The bubbling brook. So the unusual bujum plant is actually related to the akateo. I didn't know that. But now looking at them, they have the same kind of branching, except this all comes from the bottom where this has a big, like, stem. Oh. Oh, look at this globe mallow. That's the one I wanted. It has like, uh, it's like a pink version of it. I have the orange on the property. Oh, look at all those. Looks like Black Eyed Susans or daisies or something. Yeah, this is the color I'm used to. The orange globe mallow or apricot. Oh, wow. That's a huge stock. Look at those strange cactus. It's the Coville Barrel cactus. It's just definitely unusual. They have two barrel cactus over here. One is the red spined barrel cactus over there. And then the Mexican fire barrel. What is it? Oh, jaws. Oh, jaws? Oh, yeah, it does look at Look at the teeth on that. That's why they call it jaws. Oh, looks like shark teeth. From northeastern. Yeah. This one's definitely more dry than the arboretum close to us. Oh, there's a quail. Look at it. It just ran behind the bush. Oh, you can see there's a couple quail in there. Oh, and one just took off. Oh wow, the trails go all the way down there. Swings around this way. What is it? Oh, the cactus in bloom. It has those little yellow fruits on top. Look at that little bird there. There's a yellow belly. <laughs> it says caution rattlesnakes. We just saw the sign. Rain means survival for the desert. Oh, a lot of birds. What is that thing right there? Looks like a rock. What is that? Huh. Got a hole in it, whatever it is. It is, it, it, it does, I think it is stone, isn't it? It is stone. Oh, maybe it's something that someone's created. Mm. Uh, saguaros are good neighbors. So a, they have plenty of them here. Like the hole in the is that what it is? It's a, well, it is. I think they fashioned it, but it's imitating or showing oh. you what the hole is. They dig down so they build a little nest. There. I see. And the little owl here. Okay. The little owl. That's good. Mainly like the saguaro cactus gardens. Definitely not as diverse as the yeah, last I arboretum. I think it's drier down here. Yeah, definitely is a drier landscape. I like the other one. Oh, wait, how did we meet y'all? Y'all came a different way, didn't you? We did. Okay, we'll meet y'all around the other side. There's a closer shot of some of the fruit that is growing on the cactus. Like Looks crying. like little pineapples crown. yeah pretty cool and the prickly pear all right so we are on another loop there's a couple loops here oh yeah so the trail says this way through the wash oh this is interesting i like the way they have this laid out very nice oh comes back up. Wow, that's a big saguaro cactus. There's more up here. A lot of prickly pear. It's a little confusing. There's just paths 
leading everywhere. What is that over there? Oh, just a little sitting area. <laughs> Pin cushion ramada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that cool? Oh, I like the vine that's growing up. Not sure what that is. Yeah. Oh, I see. You definitely don't want to sit on this bench here. Yeah, I like those. They look soft and fuzzy, but probably very pokey. Oh, there's Jennifer and Jason. Okay. Oh, I like the roof. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Y'all want to come sit on the pin cushion bench? Absolutely. <laughs> you could have taken that way. There's a path that leads over. I didn't know for sure. I yeah. There you say? Yeah, there's a pin cushion. Um, so you said that this is actually a bench. It looks like cactuses, but it's a bench. It's not the cool. No, it's a, it's called a pin cushion bench. So, so if you want to sit on it, you can. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it. Although, remember, Jennifer, this is like your favorite one. You remember the fuzzy one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks extra creepy. Yeah. I don't know. It might be a little pokey, but. There's a velvet mesquite tree. Very dark. I hear a bird singing somewhere in the Palo Verde. Oh, this is like that other structure, but it doesn't have the vines on top. That's pretty cool. Looks like a big, huge tire, bicycle tire on top here. Oh, another, there's just so many paths. I'm confused on which way to go. I guess we can go this way. Oh, what's this? Is this where, what is this? Oh, that's where we started from, wasn't it? It is. Or it's not. Oh, that's what that must be the children's gardens. Caution, rattlesnakes are active. Oh, look at this old tractor. They have a little children's area here as well. Children's garden, that's beautiful. I guess they teach classes here at the Desert Discovery Education Center. We have a children's museum, classroom, and a gallery. Nice. What's this right here? Oh, another water feature. Oh, that's nice. Oh, a lot of algae growing. There's fish in there too. This is a nice part of the garden, kind of shaded, it feels nice. Yeah, I think this is all part of the children's garden. They have a little waterfall and stream. Look at this, climbing rose, beautiful. Wow, look at this, <laughs> this is beautiful. I like it, it's a nice area. Oh, look at that fountain. It's pretty cool. Oh. It's like, oh. Oh, there's the other end of the stream. Oh, it's nice back here. Here's some petrified wood there. And this is the Arizona Cypress. I like this outdoor area with the Mexican tile. And the stairs that lead to nowhere. Oh, look at this. 
There's a water feature right here. How beautiful. And there's fish in there. Isn't that nice? So peaceful. I love this little nook back here. Yeah, look at these teak chairs. Those are cool. He finds you a nice teak chair to sit in. Oh, look at that water feature. With all the old pots. So neat. sounds beautiful. I just noticed this. I think it's a vine, but look what it leads up to. That big old bird's nest mess. Whatever it is. Wow. That's a lot going on there. Oh, wow. Jeff just pointed that out. Look at That's the biggest horny toad I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Look at this cactus and succulent garden. Texas Pride. African milk barrel, black chin cactus, ghost plant. That's cool, the ghost plant. A lot of cool cactus. Oh, this is a dwarf organ pipe cactus. Wow, I've never seen a dwarf version. Paper spine cactus, elephant's tooth, sand dollar, which is, oh, that does look like a sand dollar. Look at that. Goat's horn cactus, more elephant's tooth. Star cactus there. And then monk's hood cactus. Pin cushion, which we saw. Golden ball cactus. Tom's thumb cactus. Silver ball cactus. Balloon. Maiden's quiver tree. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's like a succulent. Nice. Then there's aloe here. It's a small version. Mini blind pear, the carrion plant, Dikea, then Nicole's hedgehog, a cactus. That looks very pokey right there. Let me get out of the way so you can see it. Ouchie, ouchie. Wow, what is this sucker right here? Look at that. Oh, I thought it was soft. Ow, it's actually very pokey. So, what is it? Uh, bromeliad. Oh, that thing is, it doesn't look soft. I mean, it looks soft, but it's very pokey. That's a cool plant right there. That's a Moroccan mound. Yeah, definitely a lot of interesting plants here. All right, which way are we going? We've already been the other way. This is nice through here. Look at that gazebo there, made from all wood. Just nat natural looking. That's awesome. I love that. Alright, so the exit is this way. More prickly pears. Then we have the blue Palo Verde. Looks like the normal Palo Verde. Oh wow, look at how huge that agave is. It's a monster. Hmm. It's the butter oh butterfly garden. Monarch Way Station. Huh. I don't see any milkweed though. Well, there's orange lantana back there, cut back. Devil weed. Mexican tree sunflower. Oh, that's that right there. But yeah, they don't have any milkweed, which mm. is what monarch butterflies mm. is their host plant. Very interesting gardens, definitely. Oh, how pretty is that? All the pink and yellow flowers. Oh, with some orange in there. So I think this is the, well, it is 
not a think, but it's the globe mallow. Not sure what the yellow flower is. The penstem in here. Huh. Oh, it's a dead end. Cactus down. We have the Mexican fire barrel, which that's I guess how you can tell it has um, red fruit instead of yellow. Here's the different penstemons that they have. They have the bared lip. Dang it, now you got me saying it. <laughs> okay. They have a penstemon garden. It's got this trumpet vine here. It's a red trumpet vine. So pretty. Okay. They have the broad beard, beard tongue. I think that's the... Broad beard, beard yeah. And the beard clip pens them in. Here's the dogweed. That's pretty. Oh, this is the firecracker pens them in. This is what I usually see, the red one. Yeah. So many pinstamen everywhere. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh. A baby bunny. Aw. Hmm. Oh, see, they have the globe mallow. Yeah, I've never seen because we have the orange, but I've never seen the peach color globe mallow. Yeah, and they got the pink. See, we just get the orange back home. It's beautiful. Got a lot of flea bane growing here. It's like the little daisy-like flowers. It gets bigger here than at the property. The property is short and stubby. Wow, how pretty they have the desert bluebells. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's the Henry's sage back there. Huh. Dusty beard tongue. So many beautiful things to see in this garden here. All right. Thank you. When we first came to the gardens, I thought I was going to be a little disappointed, but I'm not. I'm actually happily surprised. Well, look at this circle. Hey! <laughs> it's a iron rusty horse in the center with some desert flowers. There really can be some beautiful flowers in the desert. Now that's a full-size Oregon pipe cactus right there. That's a nice specimen. Look at all the limbs that are coming out. So this is the desert marigold planted right next to the brittle bush. They've got kind of similar flowers, but this definitely looks more like a marigold, bigger flower. Oh, they have a native bee habitat. Oh, it's the sculpture. Little homes for the bees. All right, I think we're about done. So there's the greenhouse, the restrooms, and exit, and back up to the garden bistro where we ate. Yeah, and this is the palm oasis where we started. I just noticed that there's the guardiola, and there's a fold wing, the little tiny flowers. So pretty. Honey mesquite is this one here. Another desert barrel cactus toothpick cactus. All right, I think we made it back to the front. They have their variety of plants here that they sell. Huh. I'd be interested in some of the penstemons. I don't know if they're harder than my zone though. I'd have to see. Yeah, most of these aren't cold hardy. Oh, nice pots. Oh, I don't see any pens coming. Hardly.
Okay. Is that? Yeah. I almost missed this section out here. So let's see. Flea bane already grows on the property. Oh, Penstemon, here we go. Huh. Doesn't say what growing zone, does it? Minimum temp 10 degrees. Huh? Minimum temp 10 oh, degrees. No, that wouldn't work. We get below zero sometimes. So 10 degrees would not work. That's why some of them. Oh, wait, here we go. Firecracker penstemon can go down to negative 30. Oh, that's the wild foxglove. I've got foxglove growing right now. I don't know if it looks like that. Oh, no, wait. It's a wild foxglove penstemon. Huh. But it gets down to negative 25. Wow, it just goes on and on. More and more and more. <laughs> oh, look at that. So this is the snowflake sage, but it's only good down to 20. That wouldn't work. Same thing, 20 degrees here, the salvia. Oh, oh God, there's just so many plants. All right, I'm gonna take a quick look around before we get going, see if anything will work in my zone. I don't see a lot that does. Wow, look at that. It's like a little fountain made of just this and that. That's pretty cool. $300, ouchie. Well, half of that is oh, a it's donation. a totem. Yeah. I feel like I could make something like that very easy for less than 300. I end up getting two plants and I'll put their pictures of what they look bloomed. I've got the Gara, which is beautiful. And this is the Yerba Manza and that has a beautiful bloom on it. Anyways, I like my two plants. Back at the property, I have the Gara planted here next to the blackberry. I'm hoping this is a good spot. It's a nice sunny location most of the day. It does get some late afternoon shade, but mostly it's in the sun. So we'll see how it goes here. Now, as far as the Yerba Manza, which is part of the lizard tail family, it does like wet feet and does grow in the wetlands of the Northwest. So I decided to plant it in this pot here that has no drainage and I will keep it here. I do have future plans for it. I'm excited about but I'll share that later for now this is where its home will be awesome well if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you in the next video but you can check out more videos over here or subscribe or check out patreon so they locked the gates that's kind of weird and awkward luckily they didn't completely lock it and we were able to get out because if not then you have to call the police department and have them uh, yeah you did break us out and have them let you out. But yeah, I don't see how the employees get out.